My first time that I decided to come to Egypt was in 2000. And at that time I was doing very heavy into meditation and been guided to come for whatever reason. Divorce, 25 year marriage, upper middle class, I was an engineer. Um, making a lot of money. My wife was a director at the hospital. We had three kids, three automobiles, five insurance plans, you know, the whole American dream. I said, I'm leaving for Egypt. The panel from the this paw that Edward Casey talks about goes into this room right here, which is totally connected this way and that way and that way. So it's like the major hub. Subway, New York. Uh -huh. One of the entrances, I can show you the stone, and it takes four men to move the stone. When they move the stone, you can uh, go in. And so uh, that's actually the, the underground location where the archaeologists have been working for 25 years is their main office entrance and from there they can go into other tunnels uh, and the tunnel goes from here over to the tomb of Osiris. We have the drawings of all the underground with many many uh, caverns right here. All these caves. Uh, this is a project that we did in 2011. We paid the Egyptians to cover everything here. So all, everything you see is part of the 2011 uh, project with our foundation. And then right next to you see where it's all plastered. Mm -hmm. And then you see another doorway. Uh, where it's plastered now, we uncovered a great big huge doorway. And they've come back two times and covered it back up again. We did ground penetrating radar all along the Sinks Causeway from the uh, upper temple doorway all the way down to the rump of the sinks and we scanned all of that officially working with the Egyptians and we did uh, nine different locations at that time. That Those scans have appeared on uh, Discovery Channel and in National Geographic. Atlantis, is it real? featured an interview with Brown himself. Still, many people believe that it does exist, including engineer Bill Brown, who has made finding the Hall of Records the goal of his life. Brown has spent many weeks charting maps of the area using a GPS system and ground-penetrating radar. And he thinks he's found something. It looks like a good possibility that we're going to be able to achieve our target and we continued to work. It could take up to a year, next year, excavation season. I keep saying to the guy, have you dug here yet? And they were like, no, well I know they have. <laughs> okay, just like everywhere else. Okay. So we know that the Egyptians are accessing this, but they're not doing it publicly. My name is Trevor Grassi and I've been studying ancient cultures for my whole life. And the last two decades, I've had a particular focus on the Sphinx, the Great Pyramids, and what is said to lie below the surface of Giza. I've collected a massive body of evidence that suggests the Hall of Records underneath the Giza Plateau is a historically documented fact and not a myth or a legend. There are a million films about ancient Egypt today, 
but there are practically none which focus on the most important question in all of Egypt, which is what is underneath the Giza Plateau. In this film, we can finally answer that question. For the first time in human history, we're bringing forward photographs and video footage from inside tunnels and chambers underneath the Giza Plateau. And beyond that, we're here to disclose what I believe to be potentially the greatest archeological discovery in human history, the temple complex completely buried under the Giza Plateau and connected directly to the Great Pyramid. This discovery was made by a collective effort from an international team led by William Brown and his wife, Lucina Lobos Brown. And this is the story of that discovery. I first came across William in 2020, and I noticed that he was sharing ground penetrating radar scans of the Giza Plateau, which showed chambers and tunnels. This is what I had been keeping my eyes open for for many years. I'd always been looking for actual physical hard evidence of the actual structures that are underground, whether or not they're part of the Hall of Records. He had gone 10 times further than anyone I've ever seen who was actually attempting to get to the bottom of this situation and actively attempting to work at Giza to find these chambers, find these tunnels, do ground penetrating scans, and actually excavation projects. Giza was like Rome. All roads lead to Rome, while here all the, all, everything leads to Khufu Palace. So uh, yeah, I can show you uh, what the Khufu Palace actually looks like. Entrances are inside the existing houses that are there. I know, because I've been inside. Uh, there are hundreds of tombs and they actually went in, excavated everything, and then got, recorded everything, and then they covered them all back up. So you don't see half of the stuff that's on the ground. For 2007, we were in the negotiations to start a project called the Hawara Project. Uh, 50 Egyptian students from the University of Cairo got their doctorates based on that project. Um, we received a video of an underground tomb complex, very ancient, with unusual markings and colors on it. When they took it all out and everything, it was uh, uh, creating an angelic frequency. Okay. And these people had gone in after that and just destroyed it. And they were standing right outside this doorway of this room where we're in right now on the, on the And they took a picture of both pyramids, the second pyramid, third pyramid, and the pyramid satellite all turned black. And we have a picture of that. I said, get the hell out of Dodge. We gotta get out of here. And he agreed. And he was full of mud and everything. And I could feel like the energy. It's still there. Their essence is still there. All their bodies are gone. And their spirit is still there. And sometimes the, my job is to go in and to release that spirit so that it can move on. They had found a series of uh, uh, baby alien mummies. And there's evidence of what they were. But they were all gone by that week we got in there. huge construction stuff going on and I am of the opinion that you know the authorities are trying to use this construction to cover up a lot of this last stuff and make a permanent kind of fix for some of these entrances and things they don't want people finding. You know we're we're a scientific group and we're here to, to find what's here and to prove what's here not what somebody thinks or says or believes. It's not about belief anymore, it's about the fact. Wherever you see the guards uh, around here, if they're guarding an entrance or something. 
a tomb mm -hmm. or a tunnel or whatever. history of what is about to happen. He said, please, I need the money, I need the money so we continue the work. The men can feel Khufu. That's what they're saying. They, and everybody's running around saying it's Khufu. They, everybody believes us, okay?